hello everyone we will start numericals on psychrometry so this is our first numerical which was asked in mumbai university question paper may 2018 for 8 marks so read the problem first of all a sling psychrometer reads 40 degree celsius dry bulb temperature and 28 degree celsius wet bulb temperature when atmospheric pressure is 750 mm of mercury calculate using steam table specific humidity relative humidity dew point temperature and enthalpy while solving any numerical first of all we note what is given in the numerical so we denote in the problem graber temperature by td and wet bulb temperature by tw so it is given in the problem graber temperature 40 degree celsius and wet bulb temperature 28 degree celsius we denote atmospheric pressure given p equal to 750 mm of mercury now when we solve numerical we deal with the pressure in bar so first of all we have to convert this atmospheric pressure in bar so we know that conversion that 760 mm of mercury is equal to 1.01 Three to five bar. So if I do this calculation, that is for seven sixty, the pressure in bar is one point zero one three two five bar. So for seven fifty, how much it is? So if I solve for x, I'll get answer like this, which is equal to here instead of x we have p equal to seven fifty by seven sixty into 1.01325 so if i solve this one i'll get answer for the atmospheric pressure in bar as 0.99992 bar now let's find specific humidity what is specific humidity it is nothing but mass of water vapor present in air per kg of dry air so we get that specific humidity using this formula which is equal to 0.622 into pv upon p minus pv in which this pv is nothing but partial pressure of water vapor present in the air and p is barometric pressure or atmospheric pressure so to find out the specific humidity first of all we should know pv because p is already known to us so to find out this pv we have carrier equation which is equal to pv equal to pw minus p minus pw into td minus tw upon 1544 minus 1.44 tw in this formula pw is nothing but the saturation pressure corresponding to wet bulb temperature so that can be written as like this so pw is nothing but the saturation pressure corresponding to wet bulb temperature so in our problem wet bulb temperature is given as 28 degree celsius so from the steam table if i find out the temperature scale that is saturated water and steam that is from the uh, steam table using the temperature table we get the saturation pressure corresponding to 28 degree celsius so this is equal to 0.03778 bar so if i write this equation i'll get here now if i put this value in this formula i will get the value of partial pressure of water vapor like this 0.03778 that is the pw then we have atmospheric pressure 0.99992 minus 0.03778 multiplication the dry bulb temperature 40 degree celsius and wet bulb temperature 28 degree celsius and in the numer denominator we have 1544 minus 1.44 into wet bulb temperature 28 degree celsius so if i solve this i'll get answer for partial pressure of water vapor as 0.03010 now if i put this value in this relation i get answer as 0.1 0.0193 kg per kg of dry air 
okay now let's find out relative humidity what is relative humidity it is nothing but the ratio of mass of water vapor in air at particular temperature to the mass of water vapor of saturated air at same temperature condition so if i write this i'll get mass of water vapor upon mass of water vapor at saturated condition so mv upon mvs now if i solve for mv upon mvs i get that relative humidity also equal to pv upon pvs that is partial pressure of water vapor divided by partial pressure of water vapor at saturated condition okay now we in this formula we have already find found out pv now let us find out pvs so what it is it is nothing but the saturated pressure corresponding to driver temperature so pvs is nothing but saturated pressure corresponding to driver temperature so in this problem the driver temperature is 40 degrees celsius so from the steam table corresponding to 40 degrees celsius driver temperature we find saturated pressure which is nothing but pvs 0.07375 bar now if i put the value of this in rh relation i'll get the value of rh as 0.4081 which is also equal to written as 40.81 percent this is relative humidity now let us find out dew point temperature what exactly is dew point temperature it is nothing but the saturation temperature corresponding to partial pressure of water water vapor right so partial pressure of water vapor is known to us it is equal to 0 0.03010 so from the steam table again using the pressure table if i plot or if i get the value corresponding to 0 0.0301 i get that saturation temperature as 24.10 degree celsius so Corresponding to this pressure the, from the stream table, we can get the value of dew point temperature as 24.10 degrees Celsius. The meaning is that the air given in the problem will condense at 24.10 degrees Celsius when the temperature is reducing without changing the partial pressure of water vapor. Now, next is enthalpy. The formula to find out the enthalpy of the moist air is equal to 1.005 td plus w into 2500 plus 1.88 into td so moist air enthalpy is equal to 1.005 into td so td given in the problem is 40 degrees celsius right and w we have already found out so if i write for the h value that is enthalpy of moist air then it is equal to 1.005 into 40 degree celsius driver temperature plus 0 0.0193 into 2500 plus 1.88 into 40 so if i write if i solve for this i'll get enthalpy as 89.9 kilojoule per kg of dry air this way we have solved all the values in the problem thank you